you. I want to say something real quick. I want to yeah. say. Jill, you can't say this. Reword what you were going to say. Reword, reword the entire I? thing. Hey, I just want you to know I accept you. We're cutting that out. Why? Okay. Uh, it's uh, funny. Continue. It's too much, Jill. Oh, it's funny. You're too I mean, graphic. What's wrong with it? You are too graphic. I don't, it. I don't know how you don't understand. I genuinely think you have autism, Jill. Because you have no you ability to understand subtlety. I think you are autistic, Joe. Actually? Yes. Well, I can't get diagnosed with that or the government will, like, not let me do things. That's well, that's true, true yeah. <laughs> yeah, you genuinely Maybe you can get can't... Maybe even get a check, then, from the government. You genuinely can't get, like, officially diagnosed with autism anymore because um, a lot of stuff that has to do with the government goes against autistic people. There's a lot of discrimination for autistic people. Like, oh, I'm not kidding. And rightfully deserved, right? Wait, uh, oh, I mean, oh, uh, what the... <laughs> no, but, um... Oh, geez, you taking a shit there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God! Well, yeah, Wait, not... he never goes to the toilet. Oh, that's true. He just shits up here. There's, oh. like, some Templar walking, like, with his, like, stupid bucket head, and he hears, like, splat, hit the metal on top, and he reaches his little gloved hand up, and he pulls it up. Ew! Except for it's the one Templar the that has, like, a poop fetish. Like, is it a genetic thing? <laughs> but then he, like, faces up so it all goes down in the grill. <laughs> it's like, Templar has lunch. What did you say, Jill? Is, is autism a genetic thing? I don't, uh, uh, I, don't I think know. it does have to do with genetics, but I don't actually know because much. Because I have a cousin who's autistic. I don't think it's genetic in the sense that, like, if you have a parent who's autistic, then immediately their child is. Well, like, it could happen, I think like, it's, more likely. Well, right? I think it's... There's a flag down there. I know, I'm going Yeah. To. I... Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think it's that way. Like, it can be passed on. Yeah, Everybody, is... leave in the comments down below if you're an armchair psychologist and you think I'm autistic. I don't know armchair if I can... Just, I don't know if I can include that part, because someone's going to say I made fun of autistic people. What do you mean? How, how would you be making fun of that? You I have a know. cousin who's autistic, too, don't you? I have several. Yeah. I, is, does everybody so have an autistic want. cousin, though? Is that, like, just, like, a statement? Did you say, does everyone word. have an autistic cousin? Is that what you said? <laughs> I feel like everybody's got like a wine on and like and I'm just Everybody has a cousin who is on the spectrum. Everybody has an uncle who works and, at Nintendo and, and another everyone uncle who comes in the bedroom who, like, at night. Trans too. Yeah, I think that's just you for the last one there. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. Look, true. I have a cousin who's autistic, so I can say the R word. What? Why can't I? I have a disability. I should be able to say. So you can say the R word. Yeah, why not? Therefore, I'm allowed to say it. My goodness. Okay. Are you claiming the word? I'm claiming the word. What if instead of reclaiming the word, you just claim the word? <laughs> so, like, for example, I claim the N-word now. Oh, I okay. can just say nice. it. It means whatever I want. Yeah. I won't, though. I don't want to, like, you know. Just say it. Okay. So, why didn't he do it? I pressed our uh, uh, right uh, trigger and A. You pressed R. Uh, uh. I pressed right trigger and A. What's the deal with this viewpoint? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My goodness. So anyway. Now that we had our are great discussion there on, on getting blacked. Yeah, are you racist? Uh, very much so, yes. Well, what are your thoughts on everything I said? You never finished your thoughts. like, And then you reinforce the stereotype. Well, okay, I was just going to say, I was going to say, I feel like since that is a stereotype, whether it's harmful or not, but you just not reinforce the point. harmful stereotype. But whether it's harmful or not is not the point. Okay. I feel like... Uh, not when you say it. I feel like there is a subconscious thing to some women who like to get dominated, right? I think that there are women that like to be dominated. This is why fetishes exist, like, whoa, jeez! Like, choking exists and things like that. <laughs> what? You were doing this to me when I was trying to play? And it eat I can't be when I you're gonna do that anyway because you're like, health problems, probably. I don't you're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Nate. Okay. You wanted to talk about your fetish. I was going to say that Are I like getting point? dominated. That's my point. <laughs> if Nate was a woman, a white woman, and he did not want to have sex with a black person because he just wasn't attracted to them, does that make him racist? Yes. Yes. 100%. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, we even got if, through that. Even if he's attracted to other black people, one hundred percent racist. Ask. That's all I want to ask. Anyone who doesn't want to sleep with me also racist. Because <laughs> I have, I've been told I have the heart of an African tiger. Is it racist <laughs> to find other races unattractive? And the soul yes. of a Wait, Chinese really? man. 
No, like seriously, is it? So, you, so here's well, the thing. I don't know. Nate finds every race unattractive. You can, you can find, you can find Just white why? people unattractive, because that's okay. But every other race yeah. is racist. Maybe you find them unattractive. Okay, so this is just really what you believe. Yeah. Okay, and I agree with you. <clears throat> okay. Are you reverse racist if you think that everybody There's other... no such thing. I'm anti-racist. If you think everybody other than black people are unattractive. Wait, so you're saying you only find black people attractive? Yeah, are you a reverse racist? Uh, no. Because that means that you find Asian people ugly, and we need to, like Nike says, stop Asian hate. Well, no, actually, we oh, okay. don't, because also, like all these people say, Asian people are just white people. Oh, yeah, that's right. That one college said that. Uh, I always kind of wish I was Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Why? And just stop while you're no, ahead. No, no, no. Just stop while you're ahead. Let me explain. Ahead. Let me explain. But nobody needs your explanation. It's going to be bad. Let me propose an alternate thing. All of those cultures are doing it wrong, because white people are prioritizing being American. <laughs> All these other people are trying to hold on to their past. Let it go. You're American now. What do you guys think? I like this way of thinking here. I agree. All right. I finally got here to make my stupid joke. Hey, look, everybody. I'm Edward Kenway. <laughs> Thank you. I'm See, really glad you went out of your way to go make that joke. Thanks. <laughs> I've been trying to get here forever. Look. Why did it take you that long? I really approve of this joke. Thanks. It's a very big like, glow up. I feel like we need to cut half of what I said out because I feel yeah, like now I feel like we do. I feel like people are just going to think I'm an idiot oh, okay. or something. Nobody this thinks... is why I don't like being in Let's Plays, because every time I talk, people always think that I'm fucking stupid. Nobody thinks you're stupid. We just think you're racist. You can be a very intelligent racist. <laughs> yeah, like, look, look, look at the leaders of World War II. Do you guys really think I'm racist? Uh, I think it comes across as racist. <laughs> I don't think you're actually racist, but I think that you have a lot of ways of saying things that, like... Just sound like you don't think before you speak. I'm trying so hard. I understand. Like, like when you're like, man, I wish I was one of them Asian folk. Well, I'm and then your reasoning was, why do you any. think? Why do you wish you're Asian? Because they have good nutrition. What? <laughs> it's like Nick's like, well, reasoning you also when he looks at like He's can't... like, I wish I was black too. Listen, I came from a family that didn't value these things, but and I'm the saying, thing, no, I wish family... I came from a culture that. And that did. makes sense. No, but I, you could I, also have good nutrition too and i don't agree your family really valued calories <laughs> i'd say they've made better value of them than most people jill yeah thank you thank you thank you look i'm anyway, not making fun I'm of you i'm making race. Fun of you. i identify as korean now oh you oh, like okay. on twitter <laughs> so you could say the c word i was actually gonna get plastic surgery Talk. too yeah yeah what do you think it is that made people evolve differently and what i mean by that or, or like look differently like actually i have an answer for this just wait so like for example Can I not it's, climb that? it's very bright in europe it's okay. also very bright in um uh, africa right okay but europeans and africans have the same typical eye size similar but asian people their eyes are shaped differently and then you have people like I know in Africa, the, the theory is that because it's so hot and the temperature and the climate and stuff, that being black is actually better for where you are. Same with being white for where they were. But like things like that, that like what causes a change like that? I actually don't understand. So I've I, never understood either. In, in what I, how I understand it. Well, is, the eugenics person knows good. <laughs> how I've always understood it is a lot of animals have um, evolved over time, especially adapting to their different environments and their climates. And I think the same thing happened to humans. Is, yes. You know, not only did a bunch of different species of a different animals kind of become different, like how there's white Siberian tigers, but there's also orange tigers from like China and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, they develop differently because of their surroundings. And I think the same exact thing happened with humans, where like black people you know, developed in the area that they were to be right. correct, you know, to their climate and circumstances and stuff. And I agree with you, but what do you think it was that made a change like that? So for black people, I think that it was the sun because yes. black skin is able to withstand the sun a lot better. But what about like eyes? Like eyes, what would, what would cause that? Um, with the Asian people who have smaller eyes, 
Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I genuinely think there's probably some sort of reason. We could look it up on the <laughs> well, internet. Well, yeah. Like, <laughs> the whole point what is the reason you for you, this? You well, said you had a theory on what caused it. And then you get to them and you're like, well, for them, I don't really know. I I just think that maybe something did. <laughs> <What? laughs> you <Yeah, laughs> This is where you do sound stupid. The upslanting appearance of the palpebral aperture in Asians is frequently derived not from the anatomically positive ca canthal tilt, but from combined effects of the epicanthus and the upslanting lateral half of the lower eyelid margin. Okay. Yeah. So why did why did that evolution take place? Like why did that adaptation or whatever you want to call what it? What did that add to them? What did that do for them positive? Why'd they go that way, but we didn't? There is no complete evolutionary explanation for the apparent slant of the eyes common to Asians. The configuration, not actually the shape of the eyeball, results from a fold of skin on, of the upper eyelid, the epicanthic fold, which tends to cover the inner corner of the eye. Yeah, there's also, like, surgeries that people get in Asian cultures to have, like, uh, some people have double eyelids, some people don't. Like, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Where, like, they will you know, get a surgery to change it. Uh, but I was... Yeah, some people have monolids. Yeah, so I was genuinely just wondering, like, what would have caused that? And the internet apparently had the same thing to say as you. I have a bunch of bullshit to say, but I have no idea. <laughs> so... <laughs> well, I have a theory for this. So, actually, it happened, and I don't know how. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chill a minute ago, complaining. I feel like I sound stupid. Wait, wait. Just <laughs> sounding stupid. Like... This person has a good answer. Okay. Uh, as a, this person, no one, this person, as a racist, I think I can give you a little insight. <laughs> so, so, some person on Kiora said, why do Chinese have small eyes and, and somebody responded our uh, low exposure eyes are an ad adaptation against snow blindness oh. the ancestors of modern Northeast Asians Northern Chinese, Koreans, Mongols Japanese, etc. were Siberians who trekked across the Siberian wastes hunting elk mammoth and other large game you need a closer Incidentally, a branch of this group trekked across the Siberian Strait and populated the Americas. Okay, okay, I get that, but what about, like, Norway and all these other places with ice? Be quiet, I'm not done. These hunter oh. bands were very small, usually less than 50 people, so within such a small group, under such extreme environmental conditions, evolution happens very quickly and very dramatically. This is how the smaller eyes evolved. With the, uh, those with large round eyes fell to snow blindness and didn't ha live to have kids. Can, can we also listen to this thing real quick? Yeah. Okay. Oh, now I'm too close. We'll I have to find a place to... You don't have to sit. This isn't, a inf this isn't like a listen in. This is just pickpocket. You can do it from right here. Too far right away. Here, right here. He's done. We moved the last of the food cells onto his ship this morning. How much is that? Enough for several weeks. What's he planning, I wonder? Perhaps he intends to flee. Something's got him very scared. Anyway, I must be off. He asked I'd deliver a letter to a courier at St. John's Gate. I best not keep him waiting. Okay, so I'm gonna pickpocket this guy. So what did that guy say? Jill yanked my headphone out like a dick during it. Yeah. Basically, they're, they're getting a shipment of stuff in, is basically what he was saying. So basically what the person on Kiwara was saying, and who knows if they're right or not, they were saying that because they were such small groups who went through such extreme conditions, um, that they evolved much faster than a bigger group normally would because the they weren't um, able to live to have kids without the evolution, so the evolution kind of kick-started and made it go faster. Uh, so that's why Asian people developed smaller eyes. Not not and even people smaller. In Norway did. But not even smaller eyes, just like different shaped eyes. Different eyelids. shaped eyes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I was always wondering that kind of thing because I never could think of like an actual logical reason as to why that would be different. Right. Um, speaking of racism, by the way, I wanted to share with everybody my, probably my favorite Spider-Man comment of all time regarding uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. Okay. And I will tell it to you after you listen to this guy to pickpocket. You tell him I said no. I won't have you damn soldiers poking about in my business. Listen here, old man. No, you listen to me. This is my property, not his. I don't care if Christ himself put the man in charge. 
He isn't asking. It's in order. <laughs> That's rich. The man couldn't order his way out of a burlap sack. I've seen the mess he's made of the docks. I won't let him ruin mine. Just read the letter. You'll see his terms are quite generous. I grow tired of this. Look, I'll consider what he has to offer, but I doubt it'll change my mind. Now go on, get out of here. <coughs> so, this is probably my favorite YouTube comment, actually maybe of all time, but especially regarding Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. It is from Shocker, the Spider-Man villain, regarding The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and it says, Jamie Foxx was an amazing Electro. Mm -hmm. Even I, being a racist, <laughs> look forward to his return in Spider-Man 3. I remember this one. Mm -hmm. I love that comment. <laughs> we beat up that homeless dude right there. Beat him up. No, no, you gotta... We don't gotta do it for achievement. Well, that's true. Grab him. Okay. Okay. Kill him. <sighs> Is, oh wait, harassers, that's not this guy. This guy's a crazy guy. Oh. Harassers are those women who come up to you and say, Please, sir, oh, I need money. Oh, I thought people. they were the shirtless guys. Oh no, I just no, I just no, remembered no. what it is, because it's enemy of the poor, not enemy <clears throat> of the crazy. Oh, right? so are the shirtless guys who push you crazy? Yeah, they're just like they're, not, they're just crazy. Yeah, they're they're basically homeless people who walk the streets nuts and nobody helps them. They're like they half humans. Right. It's actually kinda sad. What'd you say? Yeah. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> you know, something that's interesting is you don't really see very many people uh, walking around with, like, extreme mental breaks like that anymore. No, you do. Well, yeah, because they're in, like, insane asylums. No, they're not. We don't even have insane <laughs> asylums anymore. Well, they're, that's not true. We do have them. <laughs> there aren't many, but they do exist. I run them. Crew members are to be turned over to the order of conscription into the fleet. All dock vessels must be cleared of crew and cargo. Captains are to present themselves to a representative from the Teutonic Order for reassignment. Any attempt to maintain possession of a claimed vessel will be punished severely. Okay, it's not to interrogate this guy. I thought his entire job <clears throat> was just stand there and yell all day, so why is he leaving? Because he's done yelling. Oh, okay. What's he get like a break time or something? Yeah. Well, he has to rest his voice. Hey, if you if you got to have sex with one of these people, which one would you pick? So the options are Mr. House, Yes Man, Caesar, or the President of the NCR. Uh, yes Man. You pick Yes Man over all, all the other three? Yeah, he seems like really chill and like he'll do whatever you want. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a Yes Man. Yeah. And also, it's not gay because he's a robot. That makes sense. See, I'd, I'd probably those pick... are harassers. Those those are harassers. So I have to grab them. Yeah, but it'll it'll alert. Okay. <laughs> the guy's like, man, that guy's really an enemy of the poor. <laughs> I'd choose Caesar. Really? Why? Uh, I feel like all of that anger and like narcissism and craze would make him kind of like loopy and bad, you know. That makes sense. I think that he would just be bad because he has a terminal illness, and anyone with a terminal illness must be weak, says Nate. Well, that's in like the manifesto the... I'm reading from Nate. Is there well, that's also the thing with Mr. House. No, you have to have sex with one. Okay. You have to pick one. Well, how would you? Wait, do it? Mr. House, he can't fight back. How I know. would you do it with Mr. House though? He's like. I just said he can't fight back. Can I do you open up here? The, I you open the, the thing? But like, you have to like pull this penis up for him. What? You might no, have to. you're doing whatever you want to him. And oh well, wait, actually, uh, Nate, what are the rules? Uh, you have to have sex. It doesn't say if it's consensual. You know, actually, beating around the bush is uh, what uh, George Bush used to ask his wife to do. <laughs> Can you stop pulling out my headphones here? How do you like it? It's not comfortable, is it? There we go. Finally. <laughs> what a grown pussy is. To ship back, speak with the court. That's not what I'm after. Then what? Sabrans claimed near a hundred ships. For what purpose? A blockade. They're to sail for open water and establish a perimeter. For what? Does Salah ad -Din intend to strike from sea? No, it's not he we defend against, but ships from home to deny Richard more troops. Why would one of Richard's own want to see him weakened in this way? I don't know. Ask Sibran. They're his orders. I'm just meant to carry them out. Now, please, let me go. I've told you all I know. I'm sorry. I cannot risk you telling him I'm here. 
You know, I feel like Ezio, Connor, Edward, etc., they don't seem to kill the informants quite as often. No. There seems to be a little bit more of a don't ask questions, don't leave anyone alive uh, mentality in this game. Yeah, yeah. because all Moali <clears throat> told him to do that kind of thing. Oh, so you think the reason that Altair is this brutal is because of all Moali? Yes. Okay, you I think it also could just be him and his personality. Because he doesn't seem like this later on when you see him in Revelations and stuff. I, I guess we don't chase Cam. We don't really watch him kill a bunch of people, but like he doesn't seem as like ready to just kill people. Uh huh. Okay. Nate, don't you have to leave? Yeah, I do. Well, it saved the game. Oh, it did. So it's six oh seven, and you have to meet your uh, family for the fifth birthday celebration of the week. <laughs> okay, it's the second. Um, okay, well, I just got that Teutonic flag and Jill, you just knocked down my drink. I don't know why you have to cause chaos and <laughs> create like, terror everywhere you go. <sighs> well, should we just turn it off, then? Yeah, let's turn it off before Jill, Jill does something racist again. <laughs> okay, let's exit, maybe... Or should we just, like, turn it off? No, just exit. Hey, here, wait, let wait. me show you a word I made no, up for black people. No, Jill, don't Whoa. show us anything. We don't want to see anything from you. <laughs> Let's check Fallout 76's okay. store, Jill. It gives you something to do. Okay, thanks, Bumpy. 